Guys, it's up. It's Brian Mac here again with another guitar tutorial. Uh, take my breath away. Um, I don't know, for some reason, I guess I always thought that this song belonged to Air Supply just because of the theme of the song, but nope, it's Berlin. Should have known. Uh, I used to listen to this song when I was growing up as a kid. Uh, you know, uh, the first Top Gun movie, you know, it was a little, uh, a little adult for my young age, but you know, when I got older, watched it, loved it. You know, uh, I still haven't seen the new one, but I'm sure this is why this is trending. So like and subscribe, let me know what other songs you want to learn on guitar. We take a couple of weird turns for this song, but we're going to use our capo to our advantage, especially on an acoustic guitar, because this song could certainly be like a wedding song. You know, you could, you could just you could picture like me, you know, if you want to hire me. You know, it could be really cool. Uh, like and subscribe and let me know the songs you want to learn on guitar. We're going to put a capo on the 8th fret. Let me, um, let me get my act together here. Capo on the 8th fret. Boom. All right. To start, we're going to switch the capo up later on because it's just pr I promise you it's just easier okay I'm gonna show you why uh we're gonna start with C 032010 and if you need help reading the numbers here there's an Instagram post in the comment section down below go click on that it's a primer on uh how to read the numbers uh and understand guitar tablature uh for you know the rest of your life so I'm happy to provide that as a free service and uh all right cool C We're gonna do a little uh, third fret E before we go to this transitional B. Zero two zero 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 zero. So you're just putting a finger on that second fret A. And then if you want to do another uh, third fret E uh, before we go to A minor, zero zero two two one zero. And then you'll go back to B. So G, uh, sorry, um, third fret E, and then B. And then you can do that little by, sorry, third fret E, A string, third fret A, D string, and then you go back to C. Do you hear the pattern here? C, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then that third fret E, B, two, three, four, sorry, B, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that third fret E again, A minor, down, three, four, five, six, seven, so back to B, uh, and then B is one, two, three, four, and then we could do the little, okay? So, and then that last note there, it should be your chord, right? Okay, and then you'll play that a couple times, and then you'll do a little, uh, switch things up here. D minor, zero, 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 two, three, one. Uh, to C to G. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. G, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, two. And then you go back to C. D. And then you will do uh, an F. Okay. Zero, three, three, two, one, zero. And then back to G. So that's that last part. C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, B, five, six, seven, and F, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G, two, three, four. Right? Okay? Um, so you'll do that a couple of times. Then you're going to do this little D minor, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G, F, 
that twice, actually. D minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G. All right. F, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Uh, and then you'll do D minor. Five, six, seven, eight, to G, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And then you go back to this. C. So you, you can keep doing that. Then this happens because if we were to try to just say, okay, we're going to keep the capo on the eighth fret, the, the chords to get to what's happening if we, if we don't do that uh, capo 11, we're going from a C. So we're going from like a... That is one, two, three, four... Five, six, that would be like a sixth fret A power chord up here on the eighth fret. I don't want to do that. I would much rather like just do this. Move the capo to the eleventh fret. Then you just go back and you do everything that you were just doing. Sorry. Sorry. So you're just, you're just going back. I am so sorry. I keep putting my fingers on the wrong strings. See, even I do it. Okay. That's what we got. Um, I think that, uh, you know, you could keep it on the eighth fret and just like play the song out that way, especially if you're doing it by yourself. But if you're trying to play with, the soundtrack, like the song, like the recording, um, you're going to need the capo. So uh, if you have any questions, you can shoot me a comment down below. DM me on Instagram at bmartinsounds. Um, or just, you know, just put nice thoughts in the air. Just be nice. All right. Uh, I will see you next time. Bye.